Modern GC Anio is my favourite meta game of all time, and recently I began to make videos on the tour. In my videos, I've said things like Modern GC Anio, Raichu metagame, and the Mr. Mime metagame. There's not like a bible on GC Anio or anything, so some people might be confused on what these terms mean and what times periods they happened in. I think there are four distinct eras of GC Anio that are defined by the best Pokemon in each metas. So today, I will go over the history of GC Anio up until November 2019. Era 1 the, the Mr. Mime metagame, which lasted from 2010 up until October 2018. So our story begins in 2010. Gen 5 is just around the corner, Smogon was still a couple years old at this point, and a majority of all Gen narratives are very unrefined and extremely rarely played. NU had existed for ADV, DPP and Black and White. GCU was a very underdeveloped and underplayed tier at this point, so people were opposed to GC NU being made. At least on Smogon, because there was a website called Mount Silver, which was themed around Gen 2 competitive balloting. This is where GC NU was first created, in a kind of odd way. Basically, it was just 5 or 6 people who played GC UU, which was a lot different back then, just deciding, oh this is UU, or oh this is an NU. It was basically just handpicking which mons would be UU or NU. This is how some weird turing decisions, such as Haunter being NU and Ninetales being UU, were made. GC UU was just never played back then, and people had no idea what was good. So the very first GC NU tier list was vastly different to how it is today. Pokemon such as Wigglytuff, Primeape and Weezing were in UU, and more famously, Mr. Mime, Pikachu and Haunter were in NU. Now, I'm not going to do a deep dive on this tier in this video, because I plan to do that in the future, but I'll just say that this tier was... It was okay. It was rarely played, but the tier had a lot of novelty and charm to people who played OU and UU. The Mega game actually had some similarities to the modern GSC NU. The best Pokemon was an offensively potent Psychic type, and Octillery, Dugtrio, Pineco and Pharaoh were top tier Pokemon. It was largely an offense fest, with Pokemon such as Mr. Mime, Pikachu, Dugtrio and Octillery being the main players. Mr. Mime was by far the best Pokemon in the tier, and it was also pretty busted. The tier was not equipped to deal with Psychic types at all, and Mr. Mime could run coverage moves with a few Pokemon that could take Psychic. It primarily ran a Rest Toxa, with moves such as Thunder, Thunder Wave or Shadow Ball complementing Psychic. Pokemon that are largely unused in modern GSC NU, such as Lickitung and Hitmonchan, were actually top tier threats. P Pikachu was also very good in this metagame, being an incredibly fast and powerful electric type, albeit being very frail. Pikachu made slow set of Pokemon weak to electric, such as Azumarill, pretty much unusable. It was just extremely powerful and had very few reliable checks. Pikachu was the main reason Dugtrio was so common in this metagame, and even then, Dugtrio took a lot of damage from Surf. Overall, Mr. Mime GC Anio was a cuter that few people played, but it's fun to look back on now. Did you know that Zatu, aka the best Pokemon in modern GC Anio, was actually pretty bad due to Mr. Mime? Or that Hitmonchan and Hitmonchan were actually good? Or that Lickitung was the top tier Pokemon? So this is what how the metagame was for over half a decade. In 2016 though, a thread went up on GC Anio, as well as the tournament, which a decent amount of people played. This is the first time this really happened for GC Anio, and it helped develop the tier. Most of the common strategies were developed around this time, and resources for the tier, such as viability rankings, were made. The tier still had a very small player base, but had a small following. This is how GCNU was for two years, until 2018 rolled around. 